Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Boog, and recently I got hired as a software developer for a large corporation. That being said, I recently went through interviews for React Native. There's a lot to learn about this language, and here are my top 5 interview questions that I think everyone who is a completely new or has just started learning React Native should know. These are 5 questions that I know the interviewer will ask. If you don't know these, they won't start asking the more difficult questions. They will just end the interview early because they determine that you are not qualified for the position. Now let's get you qualified and start with the questions. What is React Native? React Native is a mobile app development framework that enables the development of multi-platform Android and iOS apps using native UI elements. React Native was developed by Facebook in 2015. It works just like React, but it is made for mobile development instead of web development. It allows you to code in JavaScript without knowledge of the native languages like Java, Swift, or Objective-C. It is based on the JavaScript core runtime and Babel transformers. It uses ES6 Plus features like arrow functions and async await. Tell me some of the benefits of using React Native for building mobile apps. One benefit is a large community. React Native is an open source JavaScript platform where everyone is able to contribute to the framework with easy accessibility. It is also created and maintained by Facebook, so it isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Another benefit is live reloading. When you have the simulator open and make changes in your editor of choice, like VS Code, you will be able to see the change right away when you save your file. If multiple files are edited, they all need to be saved before they get updated in the simulator. Another benefit of using React Native for building mobile apps is its reusability. React Native uses a modular architecture. Each function or part of the app can be built separately and integrated into the app. Most apps have similar components or features that you will want in the next app as well. You can build it once and use it multiple times. The last benefit of using React Native for building mobile apps would be that there is many helpful libraries. React Native has a wide variety of ready-made solutions to simplify the task of mobile app development. There are so many partly due to the large community and partly due to the reusability of these libraries. Before building a new library yourself, first check to see if one is already built and has a big following and recent updates to it. If it's an older or relatively unknown library, it's best to stay away from these because they could have dependencies to other libraries that are out of date. This could lead you into dependency hell. What is JSX? JSX has similar syntax to HTML or XML. It extends XMAScript so that JSX can coexist with JavaScript code. The syntax is used by preprocessors, i.e. transpilers, to Babel to transform the JSX. The JSX is used in the return part of the source code. If you need to access a variable using regular JavaScript, you can wrap your code in squiggly braces. The squiggly brace syntax denotes that JavaScript is being used and not JSX. What are props in React Native? Most components can be customized when they are created with different parameters. These created parameters are called props, which is short for properties. For example, the React Native image component has a source property. When we use the image, we define the prop called source. Source controls what the image shows. It could be a link or it could be an image saved within the file structure. Props are also commonly used for passing data between screens or functions. Let's say that I have to log in on the first screen of the app. I would go ahead and enter my information and then log in. Once it brings me to a new page, I want the app to say, Welcome, Boog. To get the name to update when a different person logs in, we could pass the username as a prop to the next screen so that it can update. What is state in React Native? State is where we store property values that belong to the component and it is mutable, meaning that it can be changed. Frequently, state is used when we want to decide what is to be shown on the screen at a certain time. Let's say that the home page can be accessed in a calculator app that you built recently. If the user chooses to proceed as a guest, we would like it to offer the guest to make an account or display helpful information that a new user wants to know about the app. If the user is logged in, I would like it to greet them, showing their name and last login date. These two things can be controlled with state. With that being said, those are my top five React Native interview questions for beginners. Everyone starts somewhere and it's only up from here. If this video was helpful for you, do me a big favor and like, subscribe, and comment what you would like to see in the near future. I am planning on having an intermediate and advanced interview questions just like this along with React Native tutorials and examples. Good luck with your interview and remember to answer confidently and explain your reasoning. See you all in the next one.